What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video. We have been kicked. We have been kicked out of Legends League and we are back into Titans. Basically guys, if you drop below 4900 trophies, I haven't been attacking, I've just been taking defenses, you will be kicked out of Legends League and you cannot get back in until you reach 5,000 trophies again. So we are going to have to do some attacks in order to get ourselves back up to the top division. You did see that yesterday we used the Queen Charge into Lava Loon in the Clan War Leagues. And I figured, why don't we continue to practice that strategy, show it to you guys so that you can hopefully learn a thing or two and I get to continue practicing. It is looking good here for Red Elite in the Clan War Leagues. We did lose that one matchup to Warring Rangers, but we've got way more three stars than them. And we've clawed our way back up to the number one spot. They did lose one of their wars as well, which was a bonus. So we should be getting promoted to champion one if you guys missed my attack where we use the queen charge lalo live in the clan war leagues i'll be sure to link it at the end of this one it was definitely a fun one for you guys to watch if you are new to the channel here be sure to subscribe turn on the notification bell as well guys so that you get to see all of my videos as soon as they go live let's get out there and find ourselves a base the thing with titan is we do have clouds again so let's come back when we have one to attack. Okay, guys, so the first base we have came across has 29 trophies. Definitely what you want when you're trying to boost yourself back up. The Queen is 65, as is the King. The Grand Warden is level 40, but the walls aren't completely maxed. So it's not a maxed out base, but what can we do? Let's see if we can get this one done. Let's use a P.E.K.K.A. here. Let's use the King to create the funnel on this side, followed by the Queen here, just to start one test wall breaker. Then we can use the healers on the queen other wall breakers in one test balloon the wall breakers are going to continue coming forward here which is nice hopefully we can get through to this area do we have to save the rage i don't want to use it and it looks like we get away without using it which is good guys queen is she going to take note oh look at that balloon sets off the black air bomb beautifully the enemy queen is just within range we should get over to her relatively soon we can use our rage spell once she is in range of them but i don't quite want to use the jump just yet because that's why she should turn around and go through healers are within that rage so that is a well-timed rage we can use the jump here to get access to the single and i think we then start our lalo from this side we've got a kind of start already guys push the queen into the center and let's go for it i'm not the best with lalo as you guys know but let's see what we can do here grand warden in i haven't managed to save on to any of the let's use the skelly spell onto the single actually to try and stop that from getting in range of the queen uh, we are not going to get brilliant traction around to the center of the base here but we might guys let's use the earthquake spell let's power everything forward let's now use the freeze spell over there because the queen was getting in range of that area as well grand warden's ability onto these loons let's power them through the center there one more haste to try and get that little pack through towards the wizard tower not looking too bad here guys we've still got the queen's ability thanks to getting that lava loon in quick enough but we're running out of balloons let's use the poison spell what am i doing we've got skelly spells taking out our balloons all of the time which is not ideal queen still has that ability let's use a minion here to try and help with cleanup we're at 55 seconds left i think we might run out of time here as the queen starts to beat on a wall just go the other way please Oh my word, this is what happened last time as well, guys. We kind of did the attack okay, but just rusty in the fact that we then didn't have enough time. We didn't save enough for cleanup. The balloons are unfortunately going to get fried by the wizard tower, and I nearly missed the queen's ability. I wasn't expecting her to take so much damage. The healers on the queen mean that we just about might get the defenses down, but I think we're going to run out of time unfortunately, and in Titan League, it's totally different to Legends. It is all about stars. It is not 
not about the percentage. So even though we get high of 95%, it's going to be the same as if we got a 50%, unfortunately, guys. So it is 19 trophies. Definitely moves us towards legends. Let's get into the next attack. Okay, guys, we've came across this base, which has 20 trophies. However, the good thing is that there is no enemy queen. Either she is upgrading or... No, that's not even it, is it? She's obviously just not there because she's been used in an attack. So, why don't we use the king on this side? Hopefully, the king doesn't come over and try to steal the healers from the queen. We've got the queen in. Once she distracts the wizard tower, now we could put one test wall breaker in to start. Then we could go with the others. And then the queen... The healers should now go to the queen. Let's get one balloon in to test. Let's use that king's ability. Didn't see the single inferno was on the king, but it doesn't matter that much anyway. The Pekka here better not come over to where the queen is because the Pekka might then steal the... Where is my queen going? Like, what is she doing right now? Go into the base, queen. Do not go to that single inferno. Where's she going to go? Oh, she continues straight into the path of a single inferno. We're going to have to freeze it. We're going to have to press the queen's ability here as well in order to get through it. And then I'm actually going to go with the rage spell as well. From there, we are going to go with the lava loon over to this area. Look, guys, we've got to basically get in front of the queen here before that single target inferno locks onto her. So why don't we go with everything? The Grand Warden coming through. Uh, we don't need to use the earthquake as of yet, but we've got the skeleton spell in order to distract as well. Everything coming around the base. Let's use another haste here. We've managed to protect the queen. We might be able to push her to the center, but we should be able... Have we got any loons left? We've got four left. We should be able to push everything to the center of the base let's use that earthquake in the center let's use another haste we've got the tornado trap here as well using that grand warden's ability as everything comes out let's use that um skeleton trap to distract the single everything comes through let's use the haste and let's use a couple of loons towards the back end wizard towers to distract the base wasn't fully maxed guys there was no queen but i'm pretty sure we are going to get this done and i was quite happy with that i thought the queen was going to walk initially but then we were able to use the jump push her in and get the lalo in front because the single inferno would have fried our queen Queen, we are on our way back to Legends League. Let's get another attack in. Okay, guys, we have been searching for quite some time and we need... 21 trophies to make it back to Legends League. This base has 22 trophies, so we have to three-star it. But you can see a single target and an air defense are down. And two expos. Wow, what could be better? If we come in from the queen side here, we should be able to take that down and get our queen to the cent. Let's go for it, guys. Let's go for that. Let's get the pecker probably down this side. The king up the top. The queen here followed by one test wall breaker that is good and then let's go with the other wall breakers here to bust in hopefully we can get the queen's ability is going to have to be pressed we can use the king's ability to move him forward and then we can use let's use the jump spell here try and ensure that the healers stay on the queen here we do not want them switching to the king and it looks like we are pretty good here let's use that rage in order to push forward Forward. Look at that one balloon at the bottom. How epic is that, guys? It has managed to take out so many defenses, and that will also force our queen into the center of the base. That is incredible. Let's start with the slammer at the bottom. This is going well. Let's use the earthquake here. We also need to concentrate because we need the freeze spell onto the single inferno. When it locks onto our queen, let's use that. Let's use the skelly onto that as well to try and force that round. Then we can start with the Lalo down here. Keeping an eye on things. The Skelly spell is looking good for that area. Let's use the Grand Warden. 
down to the bottom here. Oh no, the single Inferno has locked onto our queen. That could spell disaster, but I do think we're probably going to be okay here. To be honest, guys, let's keep the haste spells coming through to keep ourselves forward. We've got two left, but we do have a couple of loons for the back end wizard tower here as well. It is looking tremendous. The three balloons down the back end of the base will distract. Let's use that Grand Warden's ability. Why not? Just because because we can probably didn't need to use all of them balloons to be honest we could have saved some of them for cleanup but we are going to get this done let's swag the poison use it on top of the clan castle because we can and that raid is going to get us back to legends league yes it was an easy base to take, but when you're practicing Lava Loon, you've got to keep your confidence up, guys, when you are practicing new attacks. And like I said in the previous video, where I used the Queen Charge Lalo in the Clan War Leagues, I'm going to link you that in a second. Please feel free to share some comments down below if you've got any tips for me. 22 trophies. There we go, guys. The badge is back. You have been promoted to Legends League. We are back. We got kicked out of Legends League, but we made it back with the Queen Charge Lalo. If you want to see me use the Queen Charge Lava Loon in the Clan War Leagues, be sure to check out this video. You will enjoy it, but that is going to wrap it up for this one. Until next time, peace out.